Strong communities are built on good foundations. Meet one of Conway's strongest. Coming up next on Carolina People. Good morning. Welcome to Carolina People. This morning we're at the Myrtle Beach Herald. We're focused on the 2005 Verizon Winter Gala to benefit Conway Medical Center's foundation. And we're visiting with its executive director, Burns Massey. Good morning, Burns. Good morning. Hope I got that title right. I think it's the Verizon Wireless 2005 Winter Gala. That's correct. It's a change this year. A big event. Yes, it is. Yes, uh, it is. We are we're very excited. It's going to take place on January 22nd at the Kingston Plantation. And uh, we have uh, Verizon Wireless as our title sponsor. We have Conway Ford and Conway Chrysler as a presenting sponsor, and the Myrtle Beach Herald and the Myrtle Beach Business Journal as a presenting sponsor. Well, we are thrilled to be involved this year. Well, thank you. Again, we yeah. It. We Once loved again. it last year, and being associated with Steve Hughes and the folks at Conway Chrysler and Conway Ford, and obviously now with Verizon this year is amazing. Thank you. I understand Ashley Lowe and you guys have been just pounding it out, Burns, to get well, some of these folks together. We truly have, and um, um, Ashley's been able to make some good contacts for us, mm -hmm. and um, and we got Verizon in uh, really after we had sent out our invitations mm -hmm. and after mm -hmm. we had sent out our sponsorship opportunities, mm -hmm. and uh, this possibility came up. So we were we were glad they were willing to come in as a part of it. Absolutely. To step up to the plate. It's probably good to get them in to also try to get them into your rhythm on the river as well as the uh, your Kingston uh, the, the, the Golf Classic, which right. you all have been having for so long. Right. Kingston Golf Classic will be held in May and it will be our 12th. Is that right? Yes. Golly, yeah. Burns. I think that it seems to get bigger every year, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it really does. It really does. And it's been a big success. And, uh, and uh, the Winter Gala, this will be our fifth Winter Gala. Okay. And um, and as you mentioned, this is the first that's had a title sponsor, mm -hmm, and so mm -hmm. we're very excited about it. Real quick about yourself, Burns. Are you originally from the area? Yes, I am. I'm originally from Conway. Okay. Uh, born and raised here. Born at Conway Hospital, as a matter is of fact. Is that right? Yeah. Golly, and now working with the medical center, working with the uh, surely with the foundation, which is a very important part of the medical center of course everyone's known as Conway Hospital forever right and of course changing the name in the very recent past right we just went through that name change about a year and a half ago and uh, we just felt like it more um, encompassed all that that we offer at the medical center it's right. not just a hospital we have the wellness and fitness center we have the nursing home we have Kingston nursing home mm -hmm. um, and we have some um, doctor practices so it just more encompassed everything there's a heck of a lot out there burns i don't think folks understand the impact of that that in, in incredible area where you all have really grown that uh, almost a triangle it's grown into a campus out there yeah it really is and we refer to it as a campus um, mm -hmm. we do have some uh, private practices uh, on the campus uh, in addition to some uh, uh, some of the other um, items that I'd mentioned. If you are out there and if you're unfamiliar with Conway Medical Center, mm -hmm. the Wellness and Fitness Center is located behind the, um, the uh, medical center. Mm -hmm. Love to have anyone come out and take a visit. It, we're very proud of it. It's state of the art. Do you do all give tours, Burns? Well, I don't know that they, they right. have organized tours, but yeah, they're happy to have anyone come and visit and they'll show them around. Great, sure. And folks who call the foundation office, who's the, what's the best number for viewers real quick? If there's some tickets available for next Saturday's event, what's the best number to call? The best number is 347-8058. Uh, okay. And that goes directly into the foundation office. Great. Of course, this is a foundation event. You get so many folks, the auxiliary and others, and you've got so many recipients. Uh, so many folks are tied into the event. Obviously, we're going to talk about the Legacy Society and the involvement, but the auxiliary, so many others that really oh, help yeah. make this a successful event. Well, the auxiliary, not only do they furnish us funds, uh, because they are furnishing funds for our entertainment this year, mm -hmm. uh, as they did last year, mm -hmm. but they also provide volunteers, they provide their time. Um, we're just so fortunate to have them. Mm -hmm. they're, they're one of our biggest supporters. Um, and, and they're one of our biggest supporters as far as fundraising is concerned, not counting 
I, I don't know how many hours of time they give us. Mm. It, it's, it's just amazing. There'll be uh, auxiliary volunteers at the Winter Gala that are going to be helping with coat checks, that mm -hmm. are going to be helping with registration, that are going to be helping with the silent auction. So uh, they, they're very much involved. In, uh, For viewers who may not be familiar with the auxiliary, share with them real quick exactly what that means. Well, auxiliary is a group of volunteers. Um, and, and actually, we have our volunteers who volunteer in the hospital, mm -hmm. who provide services for transportation, for, when I say transportation, moving people within the hospital. Uh, they provide um, help in the different departments within the hospital. Then in addition, we have the auxiliary. The auxiliary runs the gift shop. They're kind of a fundraising arm. And as, a, a, as an example, uh, they recently had a, a tree called Love Lights during the holidays, which uh, was a decorated tree and a person could purchase a light on the tree. Those funds uh, were given to the foundation for the diabetes initiative. Mm. And, um, and they raised um, nearly $6,000 for that. Nearly 6000 Yeah. Mm. And, and we, are, we were very appreciative of that. Absolutely. Well, I know the Diabetes Initiative has really kicked off strong. I think you all just kicked that off in the last couple of years, if not last year. That's correct. I think it just came off year. so strong last year, and of course uh, that's had a, a big impact, a personal inspiration for you, Burns, which we'll talk about in a little bit. I know the uh, diabetes affects so many people. I'm After the interview uh, this morning, I'll be heading up to see a friend in the hospital now who's who's suffering from a very serious, I mean, it's just amazing the impact that diabetes has on, oh, it really is. on so many. And, and so much, uh, so many other illnesses that are, that are caused from mm -hmm. that, you mm -hmm. know, whether it's heart disease, whether it's uh, poor circulation, um, just diabetes affects so many people. Uh, it's a, I can't give you a, a percentage, but there is a large percentage of the patients who come to Conway Hospital, Conway Medical Center, excuse me. I still do that yeah, too. Yeah, I'm sure, sure, having been born in Conway yeah, Hospital, that's yeah. Right. Who are, who have diabetes, and yet that's not uh, the, the major diagnosis, mm -hmm. but diabetes will be a secondary diagnosis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes it's a primary diagnosis. Mm -hmm. So. Um, it's a factor in an awful lot of illness. And Burns, you were introduced to diabetes at an early age. You began to learn what it was. I mean, is this something? This is something that impacted your family, obviously, and uh, had it impact? I mean, is it something you were aware of at an early age? Well, I, I think I was. Uh, I was not completely aware of it. I knew that my mom um, uh, had to eat certain things at uh -huh. and at certain times, and. Uh, at that time, she was able to control her diabetes with her diet. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, and as it progressed, um, she finally became insulin dependent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so many, you know, it's a fascinating. We got real active at the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. They've got a PD walk to cure diabetes, which hopefully will expand to the strand at some point. But it's kicked off a couple of years ago and gone gangbusters. I think the top walk. In the state of South Carolina, for any charities, is still the JDRF walk. Even though there's some other amazing walks statewide, oh, really? I believe the JDRF in Columbia is the uh, the largest fundraiser in the state. So it's fascinating to see uh, so many folks impacted by diabetes. Well, it really is. Um, I, I have a friend who has a granddaughter who suffers with juvenile diabetes, mm -hmm. and as a matter of fact. He lives here. He participated in the walk in Columbia a couple of years ago, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I am somewhat familiar with it. Well, that obviously is a good segue into the Legacy Society, and I know you all have a, a new, uh, the newest endowment. Share with the viewers real quick when the Legacy Society kicked off, if you know those particulars, why it was set up originally, and obviously gifts and giving go hand in hand and tie into what uh, the Conway Medical Center Foundation is all about. But Maybe just a little background on the Legacy Society and y'all's whole uh, purpose. Well, the Legacy Society is a group of, uh, of contributors within the um, Conway Medical Center Foundation who, who give enough money to set up an endowment, and that in that, those funds will be used in perpetuity for whatever cause they wish. Mm -hmm. That could be uh, nursing scholarships. It could be children's um, uh, health 
matters. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be equipment for the hospital. Uh, the newest one uh, was set up for the diabetes program. Mm -hmm. The funding from that will go to the diabetes, the diabetes self-management program right. at Conway Medical Center. Okay, and this is the 14th, I believe. That's correct. Mm -hmm. This is our 14th endowment. Um, we are uh, we're glad to get it right now, right here before the Winter Gala. Right. Uh, one of the purposes of the Winter Gala is to honor the members of the Legacy Society. Mm -hmm. So all the members of the Legacy Society will be honored during the Winter Gala, but the newest uh, member or members will have uh, a special tribute of course absolutely and of course uh, the, the legacy society has been a big uh, a big push at the, at the winter gala you all also highlight some other of the of the medical center's uh, regular activities that's correct uh, the funding uh, although we do honor the legacy society the funding from the the funds that are raised from the winter gala go to our health reach program okay health reach program is the uh, the outreach program for the hospital uh, we have a medical van that goes out into areas that uh, remote areas in the county where some people may not have transportation or the means to get to the hospital or to a doctor. Uh, the van goes out with two nurses, sometimes three. They do medical screenings. At times they do um, mammography screenings. We have a, a mammography program that we've received a grant for, for uh, African American um, members mm -hmm. of the population mm -hmm. um, that is run through the health reach program. Mm -hmm. And I have to tell you, um, uh, a new program that we, that the health reach ladies, I, I'd like to call them, have become a part of is Backpack Buddies, which is a program in, that's in cooperation with um, the Low Country Food Bank, SOS Caring for Kids. Uh, Conway Medical Center's out, uh, Health Reach Program, mm -hmm. and Coastal Federal Bank is one of the sponsors of that. Mm, great. Um, this program will be kicked off on February 1st at the Cedar Branch Community Center. Great. The program is for children who, uh, a lot of these kids, um, the basic nutrition they get is through the schools. Mm -hmm. And so on the weekends, they're limited as to what what's available to them. Right. This program is to provide food and nutrition during the weekends when some of these kids mm -hmm. don't have that available. Mm -hmm. So the foundation and Health Reach and SOS and the food bank, we are so pleased to be able to offer that and to have Coastal Federal come in. What a spectacular sponsor. partnership, Burns. Oh, it really all, is. all together, at, yeah. obviously, uh, a rare that you'll see so many groups get together for that same push, but uh, that's a great one. Oh, it really is, and and we are we're thrilled to be able to be a part of it. And um, I just appreciate the Health Reach um, employees getting us involved with mm. it. Burns, let's break down the evening. And again, the number eight four three three four seven eight zero five eight. If a viewer wants to attend. Uh, the Verizon Wireless 2005 Winter Gala. Again, it's next Saturday, the 22nd. That's correct. Saturday, the 22nd. Just break down the evening for them. I think you all kick off at 6 o'clock. You all always have a theme. This year, I think it's... The theme this year is all that jazz. Yeah. It's a roaring, twi a roaring 20s theme. Excuse oh, me, wow. it's hard to say. And um, uh, so you can expect to see some flappers and uh, yeah. maybe a couple of gangsters. And, uh, <laughs> um we will have some entertainment during the reception. Uh, to kind of give you an idea, the reception um, is the time of our silent auction mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. that runs from 6 to 8. Mm -hmm. uh, our meal will start about 8. Um, and, uh, um, and then we'll have entertainment after right. the meal. Right. Uh, entertainment and dancing, I should say. Oh, yeah. And uh, prior to the meal, we will introduce the Legacy Society members. Um, and um, um, we're just uh, we're just really looking forward to it. We're excited about it. And the entertainment this year, I think, is it, is it the entertainers? The entertainers are performing. Those folks yeah. travel all over the place. Yeah. Great getting them to settle down here. And and of course, the event is held where, Burns? Oh, I'm sorry. It is held at the Kingston Plantation. Okay. Uh, it's in the Kensington Ballroom. Mm -hmm. And um, and if you don't know where the Kingston Plantation is. 
call us, we can give you directions. And there's still a couple of tickets available. I know it's so sh uh, sh such short notice. The auction's a big, a big part of the event. Spectacular right. food, obviously the dance, and right. folks try to think, how can I afford something like that? But at the same time, you all make it really reasonable by providing a lot of incentive for them to be there. Well, the tickets are $125 a piece, mm -hmm. um, and um, we uh, there are some tickets available. We would love to see anyone there who is who is interested in Conway Medical Center, who is uh, interested in enjoying a nice evening. Mm -hmm. And surely in your health reach program, that's it's always so important when folks think about getting dressed up. They know there's a lot involved. Oftentimes, folks have to rent a tuxedo if they don't own one, so that's an added cost. But when you break down an evening, oftentimes. When you think about the opportunity to bid on auction items that you wouldn't be able to have a chance to otherwise, mm -hmm. uh, surely an amazing meal, great dancing, live entertainment, and just to commune with others who are all interested in supporting those same uh, vital goals. Oh, yeah. Yes. And we, we're just so pleased to have the support that we do have mm -hmm. from our medical staff, from people on both sides of the waterway. Mm -hmm. uh, we are, um, you know, it, it's... Um, it's just amazing the support that we do get. We continue to get year mm -hmm. after year. Mm -hmm. Break down a little bit. Of course, you know, and you've got family in the area as well. That's correct. I think I, having talked to you recently, we were uh, not too long ago. We, you were heading up. Uh, we were getting together on, earlier in the week, and then you were heading up to Columbia. I think from there to support something with your daughter uh, that was coming up. Can you share with viewers real quick about the highlight of that weekend? Yeah. Well. My daughter is a, uh, is a junior at the University of South Carolina. Uh, she's very active in, uh, in everything that goes on there, seems to be. And she was one of the chairmen of the uh, Carolina Clemson Blood Drive. And each year, for those who aren't aware, during the week of the Carolina Clemson game, the two schools compete with each other to see who can raise, who can uh, secure the most blood donations. And uh, Rachel was one of the... Um, chairman of that for the South Carolina team and uh, they won oh you're they kidding won. oh yeah they won and we were real thrilled uh, that uh, for that uh, game didn't go the way we wanted but oh uh, God but the blood drive was a lot so of you're not a Clemson fan that's right <laughs> well, I'm a Carolina graduate you're a USC a <laughs> lot I have a daughter there that's right you know the bulk of our viewers are in the PD but a heck of a lot in North Carolina as well so you know when a lot of our viewers here Carolina they think of a little older Carolina up there in Chapel Hill, but there is a, uh, in this state uh, at least, Carolina is surely USC. That's right. And that's USC exactly did right. not beat Clemson then. Uh, no, they didn't. Well, that's enough said. Yeah, that's right. You'll leave it at that. <laughs> You'll also have a son, I believe, who's now in, in business school? That's right. He is a, uh, he is, um, a first year student at uh, Wake Forest in the oh, Babcock yeah. School, and um, uh, he's doing well. That's fantastic. And of course, you say we've got, so there's obviously another part to you that uh, your bride, who I believe, and I know we talked about that when you were with us a year ago, Burns, having married your high school sweetheart. That's correct. That's that was correct. that was a great question a year ago, and I think you answered it so aptly for viewers who may have missed the show a year ago. I think I asked you what it was like marrying a high school sweetheart. Yeah. And I said, uh, how do you, uh, here we are on TV, Greg. How do you expect me to answer? That? <laughs> That's right. Which is a very positive answer. I'm sure she, uh, she got a kick out of that. Well, of course, the big focus is the Kingston Gala and so much that goes into that. But you know, this golf tournament, for folks who may not be familiar with it, you really wrap around that term Kingston. Share with the viewers a little bit maybe how you all got to that. You're having a Kingston plantation. Right. You've got the Kingston nursing home. This is right. the Kingston... Uh, the golf, the golf classic? Well, of course, Kingston is a historic name for the city of Conway. Okay, I didn't and, know that. Uh, and that's, that, it all really goes back to that. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the, the uh, Kingston Golf Classic, the name for the golf tournament was, was chosen before I came on board. Right. And uh, I think that the, the reason was the historic uh, significance of it and also because of the Kingston Nursing Center. So we do have a connection mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the golf tournament is held on Memorial Day weekend each year. This year I think it's the 27th, 28th, and 29th mm -hmm. of May. Uh, it's held at Wild Wing Plantation. And uh, our, our uh, um, presenting sponsor this year is Waste Management once again. Great, yes. Uh, so uh, we are 
we're excited about that. We look forward to that every year. And uh, we already have several sponsors already on board for that. I'm sure. I'm sure it's amazing to see the impact. Let, let's get in a little bit. We've got about five minutes. Burns. When we think about the foundation, its mission when it was set up, again, you know, we, Conway Medical Center is a community hospital. It's a community medical center. So it's already a nonprofit institution. Is that correct? That's correct. And so then why would, a, why would a viewer want to want to get involved with the Conway Medical Center Foundation? What would be an interest for them when you've already got a not-for-profit medical center? Well, um, the foundation actually is there to support Conway Medical Center in its mission okay. to improve the health of our community. And the foundation is there to do things that the medical center would not otherwise do. Mm -hmm. For example, the Health Reach Program. Right. Um, um, we, the, the foundation pays most of the funding for the Health mm -hmm. Reach Program. Uh, so we're reaching the a large community that we would not reach otherwise. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition, um, and pardon me for, for looking at my notes here, in addition, we have uh, assisted Kingston Nursing Home uh, with with some improvements there. Sure. We have purchased equipment for the hospital. Um, we have provided funding for Friendship House. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, Friendship House is one of our major receivers of funds, mm -hmm. and of course, uh, Friendship House is there for uh, people who have no access to health care. That's who, correct who at that point are able to see a physician at one of the clinics mm -hmm. uh, and um, hopefully get medication when they need That's it. That's right. The Friendship Office. Medical Clinic is very popular uh, and, and very needed. Yes, it is. Uh, and we have, um, we have also assisted with scholarships for nursing students. That's right. And uh, so we reach out in a lot of different areas. Mm -hmm. We, we mm -hmm. help more than just Conway Medical Center, although our mission is to assist Conway Medical Center. Mm -hmm. You've got a spectacular board of trustees. I think I saw it, of course, I recently joined the Ori Georgetown Tech Foundation. I think Buddy McGraw is real active there Correct. and has been, was your chairman last year, has been chairman in the past. I think George Hearn now at the helm. You've got a very active board there. I think I saw that list in your annual publication. Right. We do have a good board. Uh, they are active. They are uh, involved, um, and they support us mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. with their time, with their donations, uh, with their ideas. And um, I'm pleased to have a, such a good group to work with. And of course, you talk about so many aspects, both health reach. I mean, the diabetes initiative. These are all things that the foundation and the and the medical center together are supporting. I mean, it's not just, or is it just the foundation? The funds, it really, everything has to flow through the foundation to well, get back to those programs. For the most part, but I, I can't say that the foundation does 100% funding right. for health reach or 100% funding for. Uh, the diabetes initiative. Mm -hmm. Of course, the employees are employed by the medical center, right. um, and we pay a portion of that of their um, salary, mm -hmm. um, and we try and pay for most of the the other things besides the the salaries. Sure, sure. How could a viewer go about making a donation to the uh, foundation? What's the best way? Uh, they could give us a call. Uh, again, that same number, 347-8058. Okay. Uh, we do send out uh, an annual publication um, um, and from which people are able to make a donation. Right. If anybody wanted to be added to that list so they could get our, our publication to, uh, to make their own decision as to whether or not mm -hmm. we're worthy of their funding, uh, they could call us at that number and we would be glad to provide it to them. You all also recognize the donor's gifts in an annual publication. And That's correct. If they want to be recognized, That's oftentimes correct. I know I'm sure you get a lot of anonymous donations. We do get some, and um, but yes, otherwise they are recognized in certain categories um, within the publication. Mm -hmm. Our publication is called Life Matters and uh, is published in the fall of each year. Burns, of course, with you having joined the foundation as the executive director in 2001, I think you had a, a long uh, career there at People's Federal. That's correct. And uh, that transition's been a positive one? Well, it really has. Um, I tell people um, 
that, that uh, I find that my phone doesn't ring as much. Uh, when you lend money, your phone rings a lot more than when you uh, are seeking contributions. That's great. So, uh, um, but uh, I've been real happy with, with the change, yeah. and, and it's been good for me. That's right. And I hope it's been good for Conway Medical Center. I'm sure it has, and for the entire community. Thanks so much for being with us this morning. Thank you very much. Definitely. Stay tuned to more Carolina People with Burns Massey coming up next. You wonder why Verizon Wireless would step up so big, committing big bucks to be the title sponsor of the fifth annual Winter Gala. It's because it benefits the Health Reach program. So many others are recognized that night, but the big focus is health reach, those free screenings, the van that travels around. So many folks benefit from that, whether you're coming in from the PD or Southeast North Carolina or right here in Conway or Myrtle Beach. Call that number, 843-347-8058. We're talking about next Saturday, the 22nd, Kingston Plantation. The night kicks off at 6 o'clock. It rolls in at 8 o'clock. Surely that opportunity, that silent auction, works of art, vacations, golf packages, dining, everything, stuff you can't buy in stores, you have an opportunity to make a donation to the Conway Medical Center Foundation going straight to the Health Reach program. It's an opportunity to celebrate the Legacy Society and so many others who reach out and try to make the Conway Medical Center Foundation stronger and this community stronger. Last year, the Diabetes Initiative. This year, the Health Reach program. Step out. Give them a call, 843-347-8058.